Once you know the basics of a cut crease, the rest is a breeze. Hey guys, today I have a simple tutorial on how to perfect a cut crease even if you are a beginner. I picked up my faves from Revlon that I will be using to show you this look. Okay you guys, so I have basically prepped my base. I have not set anything yet. I've got foundation, contour and concealer on my face right now and just my brows done. And I wanted to show you how I prep my eyes for eyeshadow application. So the concealer that I'm going to use to prep my base of my for my eyeshadow is the Photo Ready Candid Concealer by Revlon and I have the shade Chestnut. So I put concealer on my lid just to prep that base so that it's ready for my eyeshadow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my face, but the powder that I use to set my under eyes, I'm just going to transfer a little bit so that I can set my eyelids. I'm going to use that exact same powder. Okay, so let's get started with the fun part. Let's get into our eyeshadow. So today I'm going to be using this palette from Revlon. It is number 920 Enigma. When creating a cut crease, it is very, very important for you to remember that your eye is divided into three sections. It is divided into your transition area, your crease, and your lid. Now your lid is kind of self-explanatory, but your crease is basically where your eye creases where that line is when you open and close your eyes that line right there that is your crease and right above it kind of like this negative space right here that's your transition area the reason why we put eyeshadow in our transition area is to blend out and blur any harsh lines that we might have created when we were uh, putting eyeshadow in our crease so you have to make sure that you do actually apply eyeshadow to that transition area and the transition color we're going to be using today is this beautiful plummy pink right here we're going to dip into that and we're going to apply it to the transition area we're going to apply it in windshield wiper motion just so that we blend it nicely and then with an angled blending brush kind of like this we're going to define our crease now the crease is normally where the darkest eyeshadow goes and um, that's mainly because we want to define it and kind of add depth to the eye so because of that, I'm going to dip into this deep purple right here and I'm going to add this straight into the crease. Now my favorite way to add color in my crease is to pack first because this is such a small and like, like dainty area. You kind of want to pack the product there first And then use the transition area to kind of blend it more because if your color is too harsh here you're going to make your eyes look smaller and way too dark and it's at this point where a cut crease can start to look a bit overwhelming and can start to become a bit overwhelming but you do have to remember that even if it's a bit dark all you need to do is go over it with that transition area just to soften things down now the last part of our eye is the lid now this is where we cut the crease. So all you're going to need for this part is your concealer, your flat brush, a small one, and a handheld mirror. So all you do is you put some concealer on your brush and you place it on your lash line right here. Look up and that will create a guide for you. And then you take your handheld mirror, hold it below your face, look down at it and then that will help you create precise lines for your cut crease. I love to do a shimmer on a cut crease and I'm going to be using these two shades right here. This very very light pink and this beautiful gold. It gives me rose gold vibes so I want that all over my crease. And then to wrap up this look, we're going to take the shade that we used in our crease and just dab a little bit right there just to blend out and diffuse that line. All right, so just to wrap up my eye look, all I'm going to do is line my waterline with a black liner and then take a mixture of my transition shade and my crease shade and buff it on my waterline. 
And that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, catch more of these easy makeup tutorials right here on Beauty Base.